in a real sense, what it seems like to me coming here is you're going to get a much more rounded out um, liberal arts education that treats the whole human person, body, soul, mind, heart, the whole bit. The liberal arts education was actually probably the biggest hurdle of the college to get over. My husband and I, we both went to a public university. But then there's that comfort in knowing that he's going to be a fully formed person who's able to think. I think part of this liberal arts education is something that, that we were never taught when we were you know, in college, and, and that is how to find the truth. You can't teach independent thought and assessment by just becoming the greatest number cruncher on the history of mankind. I had an experience yesterday. I was in the grocery store and I saw this kid with a philosophy WCC shirt on. And I thought it'd be a great idea to ask him, tell me the philosophy of WCC. He gave me a beautiful summary of what we're doing here at WCC. And, and it, he said it was Aristotelian philosophy, Aristotelian Thomist, moderate realism. And then he gave me a list of the books they read from the Bible through the first two years to the categories, the, the posterior analytics. And he named up all these wonderful works of literature. And then he talked about the outdoors program, rounding out in virtue and, and how all that worked together. And it was a stunning testimonial to what would set this place above the others. My kids um, are talking about Euclid in the evenings on vacation. Euclid. So dad pulls up a Euclid book and I'm looking at it going, this is insanely fantastic. Where does this come from? I, never, I had no idea it existed. Thank you.